I was hoping to land on some sort of flat area, but that really didn't happen. And so I'm kind of struggling to see if I can find a flat area anywhere. Alright, welcome back to another episode of Astrodeer with your host Midnight. And last we left off, oh, we decided to go to the uh, exotic planet. And uh, yeah, it's been challenging to say the least. Um, unfortunately, I wound up coming here with only uh, some resin and some compound with the hopes that I would find everything I needed to build up. Um, that has been a little bit of a challenge. So I think what we're gonna do is maybe kind of level some stuff out. And a power has been a big, big problem for me. And so I'm trying to figure out how to keep my power going. Um, oops, I just went in there. Organic, uh, no, no issue here, right? So uh, plenty of organic material. And I can continue to power up using organic material. I think I have... Oh, what happened to my inhibitor? Ah, it's on my backpack. Okay. Let's put the inhibitor on. And uh, continue to keep gathering organic as much as humanly possible. Because that's, that seems to be my main power source. Um, I, I tried three landing spots. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me apologize for my sound. I, would, I pulled a, a major derp. And uh, thought I had my microphone configured correctly. And I did, except for the fact that I didn't have it turned on. <laughs> you know, the things you do to get set up <laughs> to try to make a video. Uh, you don't even think about, hey man, is the power on? So, I was there sitting here, you know, blabbing away. <laughs> Just doing my thing for like 20 something minutes <laughs> before I realized, yeah, I, I, I didn't have the microphone turned on. Yeah, so that's great, right? Sometimes it, you know, just takes a genius. <laughs> I was using my genius skills. <laughs> so, like I said, power's been an issue. We, we, we've kind of, I've kind of lucked out in the sense that I had an, an enormous amount of um, research around me. But the problem now is that I, oops, I have the inhibitor on. The problem now is that I don't, I don't have any more research close to me. And I don't really have a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff meaning like um, or uh, compound and stuff like that. I, I could start making some tethers. I probably should start doing that. Let me make a, a group of tethers. And let's tether out a little bit because I really need to go find some more research. That's the only way I'm going to get this base built. I ha I haven't found a cave system yet. I'm surrounded by gassers everywhere. And that's been a huge challenge. The storms have been a huge challenge. And I'm not really getting the power that I want to. So it's 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 tricky. There's another research over there. Let's, let's make my way over there. I don't want to have to tether up to everything, but unfortunately there's so many gassers on this planet. That if I'm not tethered, I am like, I'm dead if I turn a corner and there's a bunch of gassers there. So I might as well just start tethering up. What I'm hoping to come across, and you find this on the exotic planet, did I call it organic earlier? <laughs> you find this on the exotic planet is um, there's coal deposits sitting on the surface. So if I'm lucky enough to get a coal deposit on the surface, oops, I don't want to do that. Give me this back, please. Thank you. Um, I can uh, use that as trade and that would be great. 
and then I'll have some trade. Now, problem is, I don't have the resources. Well, that's not true. Okay, I, I think it's copper. I, I want to say it's copper. Let me let me just double check here. Okay, compound. I, I can use compound. But let me check about the trade platform. I need three of these. Like I said, I, I brought compound and resin. I have enough resin to make a pretty decent base. All right, let's see what the trade platform is going to cost me. Aluminum, perfect. Okay, so I do have the aluminum to make the trade platform. The vehicle, I, you know, to be honest, the vehicle bay is not really going to be all that great right here. This is like the, the worst location I could possibly have. Uh, it, it was the better of the other evils, though. The other ones were equally as bad. I was hoping to land on some sort of flat area, but that really didn't happen. And so I'm kind of struggling to see if I can find a flat area anywhere. Does this have any research underneath it? Yeah, nah, no such luck. There are some gassers up here. I need to be careful. I can sneak in and try to get them. There's probably three, because they group in threes. There's another research that just popped off and f is falling now in the distance. Let's see if I can try to find that. Where's that other gasser? There's one over here. Did I kill these others? No, I didn't. Okay, that's dead now. That one's dead. Just not quite close enough to this one. Okay, got it. Alright, let's pull these researchers up here. Take these guys back. Try to eyeball around here, see if I can see anything. Man, it's just a horribly rocky, bumpy area. Not the best spot to try to build a base on. Okay, if you want to walk everywhere, but not okay if you're going to try to try to drive a vehicle. Now, like I said, I still might be able to find the resources I'm looking for. But they're going to be probably underneath me, kind of like a, a cave situation. How deep does this go? Uh, it doesn't. Yep, and I hear some spitting at me. Dang it. Yeah, big, big problem with the, the gassers on this. Big problem. That might be a cave, though. And so, let's let's see if I can kind of bridge my way down here. Seems like I can. 
Yep, not really. Just kind of, you know, into another area. Does start to look like it's going down, though. Let's see. What is that over there? Ooh, I found some compound. Nice, I found compound. And I found something that's lit over there. Is that like a... Is that a creature? Or is that a, like an astroneer? What is this? Ah, oh, ha ha. Resin. Resin and hydrazine. Okay. Well. Not entirely what I wanted, but alright. get into a proper cave system. With like a ton of resin here, this is great. Uh, I'd need to figure out how to, to get my way down, but let's, while I'm at it, why don't I kind of clear the path? I'll get rid of all this garbage. love this tool. I love the inhibitor. It is hands down one of my favorite tools. Alright, that works. It's not the best ramp, but it'll do. It'll do in a pinch.
You know, I might be able to get a vehicle down there. I, I, I would just have to... Care what I'd have to do. I'd have to, like, flatten everything. That's what I'd have to do. Alright, let's see where we're at. Let's drop some of this... stuff. I, hopefully I have enough resin? Do I have any more resin on the ship? I have at least two. Ooh, three. Perfect. Oh man, that was that was like I just I planned it or something. Alright, three resin. That'll give me my smelter. Probably not going to be able to get any wind over here. I'm probably going to have to find some other area to get wind. Like maybe over this direction. Sitting on top of this ridge would be perfect for wind. Put like three. It'd take about... Hmm, I don't know how many resin that would take. It would take a, a ton of resin though. Which I know where some resin happens to be. So that's perfect. All right, what else? I've got an aluminum here. I can make a vehicle bay. Should I? Uh, no, I can't make it. I need resin. All right, uh, we just forced my hand here. That was not aluminum. Anyways, that was copper. Okay. Another aluminum over there. Alright, let's go get some resin.
How about we bring this over this way? Let's see if I can pull it over this way. Okay, get to grow out just a little bit and then get to come over here. gonna take all the resin I just just wound up harvesting got a storm coming in yep right behind me okay get in my safety area I, is he gonna miss me? No, that's coming right for me. All right. Perfect. Let's smooth this out. like zero wind resistance right here. That's great. That thing's gonna hum. Look at that thing. We're just humming away. And I think I can probably, if I keep smoothing this out like this, probably can put uh, a nice little, well, do I want to put a vehicle bay there? Probably want to put a vehicle bay off to this side. Yeah, let's kind of flatten this. We'll bring a vehicle bay up here. Like right over here. Awesome to build, but it didn't look like I had a lot of clearance down there. So that's four aluminum. How many aluminum do I have? I don't have four anymore. I have two copper. Oops. Hey, man, get back over here. Spun around. I have two copper. I think, uh, yeah, one aluminum. That's it. Okay. Let's see. Can we flatten this out? Yeah, let's flatten this out a little bit. There we go. 
area to walk on here. Yeah, the base is starting to come together. Got some decent solar power. I've got some wind just whipping away over there. I put those in the right area. I mean, look at those guys. They are just flying. Let's go ahead and take this storage off of these. I don't need the storage on here. I can use this storage in other places. Still has one resin on there, which is very nice. Alright, I think I'm going to call this episode. Thank you so, thank you guys so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. Put a like if you like the series. Leave comments in the section below. This is a pretty interesting build that we got this up and running. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video. And subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.